Oh, what's up guys? What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to make this felt pennant. Felt pennant. 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 Pen 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 So, I couldn't find the gray felt that I wanted, so I just found some white felt and I dyed it gray, and uh, it should work. The first thing I did is I'm going to cut it to the size. It's going to be set in a little bit, and then 13? Yeah, 13. Also, I'm getting over a cold, so I'm sorry if my voice is all nasally. But next thing I did is I folded it over, and on that fold side I went out up about an inch and cut it. This is going to make the two little points that I want. Now this is just the design that I liked. Other people have like one single point, but I thought this looked pretty cool. So I got some heat transfer letters, and there's like a, a shiny side, it's kind of smooth, and then like a matte side. So I put a matte side up, and you can tell with like which way the letter makes sense. That's the side that goes up. But anyways, so I put it, and I got them lined up to how I wanted them, using that ruler. Got an iron, and just pressed it on there. I didn't have to hold it for too long. I did that to all of them. And yeah, it seemed to work. Didn't feel like it was going to come off too easy. So next I got some string, and I threaded that needle. So I'm going to be using this to sew down the fold where the dowel will fit in. So to start the stitch, start on the edge on the inside and went around the edges of the felt. This way my fold won't come undone. And I went around twice. But then I started my stitch from the back. And I just went over a little bit and went down or went through the front. I went over about the same length. And you just want to keep the length about the same each time. This should make your stitch look nice. Oh, and then to finish the knot, I finished the knot underneath the fold so that I could hide it. And that'll look pretty good. Little dowel can fit in there. Perfect. I'm just using the same string that I did to thread it to hang it up. So I just make a little knot, size it to about how I want it, and cut it off. And there we have it. So I found a different felt that was gray and I liked the color of it. It was a little more expensive, but that's what I was going to try out for the screen print. And to do the screen print, you have to take your image and separate the colors. So I had three different screens. First, I was going to do the white screen. And this, this white ink, it's a plastisol ink, but this is like the stiffest plastisol ink I've ever used. But in order for it to cure, you have to heat it up. So I just have this little heat gun. And you just want to heat it up until it's dry to the touch. So on the images, and I'll probably go through how to do like a multicolored, like a multicolored screen print later. But I have these little registration marks, and then you just line them up, and hopefully that will make the image lined up. And. Yeah, it looked pretty good. So again, you gotta cure the ink. And I wanted the gold to be a little thicker. So I actually came over it again, relined it up, and printed it again. Nice. And between each time I print, you're gonna have to heat it up and cure that ink. Otherwise it's going to stick onto the back of your next screen. So I lined up the black and and nice. So you can kind of see on the black there. I burn it a little bit so you're going to want to watch out for that. Don't heat it too long. But I did have the marks 
like in the black screen of where I wanted to cut it out. So that made it a little easier to cut out. I didn't have to measure anything. Just had to line up my ruler and cut it. So I want to try out this little handheld sewing machine. This little hand guy. And it was really crooked. And I was going to redo it, but I noticed on the back it had like this weird chain stitch thing. And that wasn't going to work for a double sided pennant. So I just went with the regular sewing machine. And then I just took the extra heat press letters and did it again on the back of this one. And that seemed like it was going to work best. So I don't know, which one do you guys like better? Do you guys like the hand stitched one or the machine stitched? Do you like the hand dyed felt or the regular felt? So I was pretty excited with how it turned out. I really liked how it looked. I'll probably end up paying it in my shop once I get one. Right now guys, I'm working to get a shop. That's my Patreon goal. So if you guys want to help support me there, you can go to the Patreon. And I think, no I don't think, I know. This is actually the $20 reward is this pennant. So if you guys want to go snag one, you can get one there at the Patreon. I'll put a link right here or somewhere. And also, I'll... ooh, hello? What? Also, um, I'll be giving away a couple to the Patreon. So if you guys just want to like do like the $1, you can be entered into the giveaway. And I'll be giving away, I'll probably give like one away on Instagram as well. So you can check there for one. But yeah, thanks guys.